Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to see an amazing tracking method called Pair Mod. I am currently on its official GitHub repository page for Pair Mod, and as you can see, it's quite popular with over 4100 stars. So, this repository uh, contains the official implementation of research paper titled Fair Mod on the fairness of detection and re identification in multiple object tracking. What makes this project special is that it provides a simple yet effective approach to multiple object tracking, which is the task of detecting multiple objects in a video and tracking them across frame. The repository includes all the code you need to train and test the Fairmont model and even provide pre-trained models that, that achieve state-of-the-art results on several benchmark datasets. Before uh, diving into the code implementation, let's understand what this research paper is about and why it's important in the field of computer vision. I will break down the key concept in a simple term so everyone can follow along. So, Fairmont focus on multiple object tracking or MOT for short. MOT is a computer vision task where we need to detect multiple objects in a video and track them as they move across different frames. Think of it like watching a busy street and keeping track of all the people walking by, remembering who is who even when they across part or get temporarily hidden behind something. The core contribution of Fairmont is a novel approach that tackles the author called unfairness issue between two important tasks. Uh, object detection means finding where objects are, are and re-identification or REID for sort, which is recognizing the same object across different frames. Uh, previous methods tend to favor the detection task over the REID task, leading to a problem in tracking performance. Previous problems author were facing was like before pair water, researchers were dealing with several challenges in multiple object tracking. First, there were uh, two main approaches to MOT, two-step method. This used to this used separate models for detection and re-ID making the whole system computationally expensive and too slow for real-time application. Imagine running two different computer programs simultaneously. It takes a lot of processing power. The, and another was the one sort tracker approach. This tried to combine both tasks in a single network but had several unfairness issues uh, like anchor based detection cost problem. Uh, these trackers use predefined boxes called anchor. Uh, let me see. Yes, anchors to detect object but this created ambiguity for re-identification when multiple objects appeared in one anchor or when one object spanned multiple anchors like this. Uh, it's like trying to identify people using a grid on your camera. Sometimes a person might be split between grid cell or multiple people might be in one cell. Or another issue was also feature sharing conflict like uh, detection needs high level feature to classify object like is this a person or a car while re-identification uh, needs more detailed feature to distinguish between similar objects like uh, is this a person A or a person B. This computing needs crea uh, created a conflict in shared network. So the author, author proposed a novel approach uh, in Fairmont. Fairmont introduces uh, several innovative design choices to address these issues like uh, anchor free design. Instead of using predefined anchor boxes, Fairmont detects object as points, their center, and then predicts their size. This eliminates the ambiguity problem of anchor based method. Uh, it's like trying to uh, trying to identify people by their center position rather than trying to fit them into a predefined boxes. Uh, another suggestion author 
given Fairmont is homogeneous branch architecture, like Fairmont uses two parallel branches for similar structure, uh, of one for detection uh, and one for re-identification. This treat both tasks equally rather than making one subordinate to other. So, so how the new method fix the previous problem? Uh, Fairmont effectively address the previous issue in several way, like uh, like uh, the anchor free approach eliminates identity ambiguity by extracting uh, re-identification feature only at object center. This is a much cleaner than messy anchor based approach. Uh, the homogeneous branch design treats uh, the, uh, detection and re-identification equally, removing the bias towards detection. And these are the re result of the Fairmont in uh, MOT dataset. So MOT, uh, Fairmont offers several key advantages like state-of-the-art accuracy. It ranked first among multiple object tracking uh, challenge benchmark. It also uh, reduces in identity switches like up to 63% fewer identity switches compared to previous method. Another one, it's real-time performance. 30 FPS inference enables practical deployment in real-world scenarios. It also reduces the computational uh, requirement like the single network approach reduces redundant computer computation compared to two-step method. So, despite its strength, Fairmont does have some limitations. Like, Fairmont uh, has these limitations, like uh, multiple task, multitask optimization remains complex and may require careful tuning for different scenarios. Like, all tracking by detection method, performance is fundamentally limited by detection quality. Uh, and it also has a limitation like some parameter needs to fine tune for different domains uh, while improved uh, handling prolonged or extreme occlusion like when an object are hidden behind other object remains challenging for fair mod uh, currently so in my viewpoint uh, there are two key points i understand for fair mod like first it is strength. Fairmont represent a well-executed engineering solution that systematically address known problem in one sort tracking. The anchor free approach is a novel and the experimental validation is comprehensive. It significantly redu reduction in identity switches, which is up approximately 63% demonstrate real practical value, but it's Second, my second approach to Fairmont is like its technical concern. Like while effective and is somewhat incremental, incremental, uh, essentially Fairmont is like combining existing technique, which is center net, multitasking learning, uncertainty loss, uh, rather than introducing fundamentally new concept. The fair, uh, fairness framing while catchy is more about balance optimization rather than novel theoretical approach. So in conclusion, uh, Fairmont approach is clever solution to the fairness problem in multi-object tracking that uh, achieves state-of-the-art result while maintaining real-time performance. Now let's move to its code implementation to see how you can perform it on your own. We will explore the GitHub re repository in detail and set up the environment and run some demos to see Fairmont in action.
with this our tutorial on the fair mode is over you can check our blog on fair mode track crowds in real time with fair mode a detailed tutorial in this blog i have explained how you can implement fair mode on uh, any video especially for people tracking in crowded area so check it out